What's up guys? D-Banks Games is more here. And today we have it's Wizard Wednesday. And today we have um Julie with us on the FaceTime call. Hey. It's getting a little staticky, but okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Like last time. <laughs> hey, guess what? I'm starting the timer. <laughs> So let's start that. Yay, I did it. Okay. <laughs> so you can see I have my little setup here to hold the iPad. And it was getting a little shaky, so I'm using the Wizard 10. No. I'm sorry, I'm really stressed right now. <laughs> I'm using the Wii U gamepad to hold it down. So last time. I really don't remember what happened last time, so let's jump in. <laughs> I'm sure Julie remembers she watches all my videos. Mm -hmm. Please don't lag. <laughs> okay, I have nothing open in the background except for QuickTime Player, but that has to run, so... Let's go. Oh, wait. This is the wrong one. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I'm sorry. All right. Let's go to um, Loea. Loea Trollhead. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. School starting up soon and all that, so. Like sucks. Yeah. Okay, now I remember what happened last time. What happened last time was we fought a bunch of, um, a bunch of monsters, like the field guard and rotting fodder, lost souls, stuff like that, for, um, Penny Dreadful's report. Oh, turn up the volume. Um, so we did we did that, and now we're going to see Penny Dreadful. Oh, we managed to find the rune skull, I think. I think that's what happened. Is it this way? Or... I'm totally lost. Let's just go to the commons. <laughs> that was weird. I can't believe I was about to play on my normal thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's being laggy. Why? Let's quit this. See if it'll work this time. Quit. Okay, quit. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I had I had Google Chrome in the background. Apparently, when I exit out of my window, it doesn't work. <laughs> Wonderful. Let me see what you found out. Penny takes the worksheets from you and reads them. Her eyes grow wide and she giggles. Um, Seasoning, serving oh. size, cooking time. Oh no, I gave you the wrong worksheets. These are for a report I was writing about the types of food we eat in Marleybone. <laughs> Don't worry though, I think I can make these answers work. Thank you. <laughs> I, I really can't thank you enough, again. Wizard, for all your help. I thought I would have a hard time finding friends here, but you've been wonderful. You seem to know what's going on. Did you hear about Malister in the death classroom? No. A year ago, he left here in a storm and the whole death classroom disappeared. Broke right away from Ravenwood. And you were the last one to see him in the Golem Tower. Is it true what they say? That he's plotting to destroy all of Wizard City? Why would he want to do that? I hope he stays away from Marleybone. I want to go home someday. Someday, but not today. That reminds me. Could you do me a favor? I need to mail a letter to my family in Marleybone. Do you know of anyone who travels throughout the spiral? If you do, could you ask them to deliver my letter home? Penny hands you a letter addressed oh. to Desmond and Deirdre Dreadful at 57 Chelsea Court, Marleybone. Sure, why not? Let's go. I don't think we have anything better to do. What quests do we have? Oh, we do have better stuff to do. <laughs> we'll 
I'll talk to Ambrose after this. Let me know if you guys want to see more fighting. Cause I personally don't like to fight, but I'll do it if you want to. Hey there, youngster. Anything old Zeke can help you with? What the heck? Um, oh. You ask him about delivering a letter to Marty Bone. Oh, sure. That's no problem. I go there all the time. Let me take it off your hands. Let me take it off your hands. <laughs> give him the letter. Okay, bye. Talk to Dreadful, and then we'll go talk to Ambrose. If nothing else is needed of us. Oh, thank you so much, Wizard. You're the nicest person I've met since coming here. Really? Okay, now we can talk to Ambrose. I knew exactly what I wanted it to do. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about the lights in the windows, but if there's no light on in the window, you don't need to be there. Well, you can't get in, actually. If there's a yellow light in the window, that means you don't need to be there, but you can go in anyway. See? And if there's a blue light, that means you need it there, there's a quest there, so you go in. Diego thinks that Cyrus is helping Malastia cause all this trouble on Wizard City, eh? Oh, Diego shouldn't be spreading foolish rumors. Cyrus is a good professor. I trust him completely. Do you? I'm sure you heard that Malastia Drake used to teach at the death school. He was once one of our best professors, very powerful and compassionate. He'd love discovering secrets of power. Hmm. Secrets of power. Eh. The only thing he loved more than power was his wife, Sylvia. May she rest in peace. If only she were still with us, things might be different. But even death cannot be undone. Okay, hey, she died. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so close to the camera until I looked over at the, the thing. <laughs> Speaking of issues concerning Malastia... One of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. I don't know. Can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastare has been contacting former students. Mm. Nope, don't think so. Sylvia Drake. Why does that sound so familiar? I never even remember this quest. It shouldn't sound familiar to me. Okay, why is it being so laggy? The only thing in the background is quick time, and that's supposed to be open in order for you to see us. And to see Wizard 101. So, I don't know if I've said this already anyway, but um, if you guys don't like the face cam, tell me in the comments and I'll stop using it. But no one said anything, period. So I'm just gonna keep it until you say no more. You don't wanna see that ugly face of yours. <laughs> it's Wizard Wednesday. It can also be called Wacky Wednesday or Weird Wednesday. But it's still Wednesday. Talk to Duncan Grimwater. What type of a name is Duncan Grimwater? Well, this is Wizard 101. And the game is very being very laggy. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> I'm not sure if it works for me yet. So, the headmaster's still worried about Malister. If you ask me, I think Ambrose needs to quit blaming Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City. We can always blame Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City. Malister Drake was such an inspiring professor. Most consider him to be the greatest necromancer of our time. He understood life's limitations and strove to face them unafraid. I actually think he was afraid. Ambrose has suggested for me to stop practicing the death arts. He even suggested I give life a try. Ha! But I keep studying on my own. Maybe one day I will be as powerful as Malister. <laughs> Malister. If you want to find out more about Malister, 
Maybe you should talk to an old friend of his wife. You have heard what happened to Malister's wife, right? No? Yeah, she did. Oh, if you're interested, go talk to Gloria Crendel in Old Town and ask her about Sylvia Drake. Those two women were close. She could tell you more. That's what I heard. During, I, I do remember this quest. That's why, that's why it seems so familiar to me. So let's go to the old town. The olden days. See, like I said here, the lights aren't on or they're dim or something like that. And you can't go in. See? Yeah. Awkward silence. So how y'all's day been doing? Mm. Okay, I'm. I don't know about you guys. I'm really excited for Sims Four. You excited for Sims Four? You're asking me. Yeah, I'm. I'm asking you. Yeah, I guess. I <laughs> think you don't even know what Sims Four is, the do only you? The time I play Sims is like on the Wii or on my phone. You're lucky you even played The Sims. <laughs> I never played The Sims. I'm planning on getting it on Saturday when I get paid. My my dad pays me allowance. You want to ask me about Malastair's wife, Sylvia? Oh my, yes. I knew her very well. She taught the light magic class before Moolinda Woo. Moolinda Woo. I sure miss her. What happened to her was such a shame. Poor oh dear. Madame Crindle becomes forlorn as she relives the sad memories. Memories. Say, there is something you can do for me, child. Would you go find the scrapbook Sylvia and I made together? It'd mean a lot to me to have it back. Let me guess we have to fight something to get it back. I'm not sure how, but Sergeant Skull Splitter has it. Uh, could you go to his tower on Triton Avenue and get it back for me? Do it yourself, lady. And they're gonna make me do it. <laughs> I'm excited for Sims 4. I've never played any of the Sims games, though. I just watch people on YouTube play it. I'm like, I have to have that game. So I'm gonna try and get it off Amazon starter pack anyway. And I'm just gonna wait for my birthday to get Sims 4. I mean, I don't want it that badly. I'm, I just really want Sims 3. <laughs> I'll make my brother spend 60 bucks, not 60, 80 bucks getting it for me. <laughs> my birthday is not in September, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how, how much the price will go down by then. All I know is I'm going to have Sims pretty soon. <laughs> I might start a series on it, so... Look out for that. I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm like, maybe I can start a series on it. <laughs> Alright, anyone want to team up? What do you want? Ah, you have been asked to enter a dungeon. To go inside, you will need to stand on that sigil next to the door. He talks so proudly. Ah! <laughs> to activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you. Go inside the dungeon with you. <laughs> hey, someone's standing on it. Or not. He wants to go in with me, I think. Okay. Let's just go on then. He can go in with me if he wants to. I guess he is. Looks like we're gonna have a partner. So you've come for the scrapbook that belonged to Malastair's wife, eh? Pity she caught that cold and died. Well, I won't allow you to have it. I will deny him any kindness after what he denied me in life. As for you, wizard, prepare to join the ranks of the undead and serve me. No, I'm good. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Dark fairies, Alright, let's see what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We got 
<laughs> um, Blood Bat or Golem Minion? Golem Minion always works. Let's go with Blood Bat. Get rid of the Servant first. Cool, I need that. I absolutely need that. <laughs> what level is this kid? Is this kid? Uh, I'm not proud of pressing him, I just want to see what level he is. Not working. And I'm I'll find out after the fight. It has to be like a level, I don't know, probably over 20. Or not, as if I know. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you look at how much his health is. Let's see. I have no idea what I just picked. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I was just talking. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> dead. <laughs> ah, dang, fizzle. So do sometimes my, um, I don't know if Julie knows this, but sometimes, most of the time when I'm playing video games, I can kind of control it with my mind. I'm pretty sure I use more than 10% of my brain. So, sometimes I can control what happens in this game, sometimes I can't. I'm going to try and make her fizzle. Congratulations, you just made people on YouTube think you're crazy. Yay, I am! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> huh? I don't think you're still there. Alright, I can't hear you. Say again? I don't think Because they're they're wizards and witches. Oh, what's <laughs> Why not? Because they're weak. Because they go eh, eh, eh. Because <laughs> they're weak. And and I I'm pretty sure that um that magic is stronger than they are. Is there volume all the way up? Yeah, it's all the way up. Hey, I just realized no one attacked me this whole fight. They always attack the first person that gets on that starts the fight. That's why I try to be the yeah. second person that starts the fight. <laughs> the second person that gets in the fight. Mm. When I'm the only one playing, I'm just like, oh dang. <laughs> oh dang. You were able to get the scrapbook from Sergeant Skull Splitter? Oh god. I was so afraid it was lost forever. It contains all my memories of Sylvia. All my memories of Sylvia. <laughs> Madame Crindle begins to thumb through the old scrapbook. Now let's see. Ah, yes. Sylvia had such a wonderful laugh. It was so sad when she got sick. She got a nasty cold and wouldn't get better. They tried everything to heal her, but nothing worked. Imagine the greatest life professor being struck down like that. It's funny because she was a life professor, not a death prof death professor. I can't talk. <laughs> so she dies because of illness instead of old age. And she's the life professor. That's just irony. She was dying, and that was that. Poor Malastair couldn't stand it. It broke his heart having to let her go. He was never the same afterwards. He withdrew from his colleagues, even from his brother, Cyrus. 
desire strength. Well, thanks for bringing the scrapbook back to me, child. I am forever grateful. Forever grateful. <laughs> okay, I guess that was it. Um, I also have no requests to change the color of the robe and stuff. Let's actually see how much money we have. 228. Wow, what joy. <laughs> Alright, let's go defeat some lumbering trolls. Oh, what does he want? Ah, uh, let's go de defeat their lumbering trolls. It's actually hard to manage when you have all these quests cluttering up and you can't do everything at once, so I'm gonna defeat these lumbering trolls. Hey, look, this one. Yay, getting in the battle. Eh, eh. Let's throw some mice at him. Oh, I forgot. Was there Wednesday? There's it's forty minutes long. Dang, <laughs> I totally forgot that Wizards Wednesdays are forty minutes long. So now I have to keep an eye on the on the clock, not the clock, the timer on the thing. So screen recording, it says 21 minutes and 39 seconds. I'm counting. So, now I gotta keep an eye on it. Oh, come on. Only I use that. Actually, I barely use that. I still can't believe I started the video as my regular thing. <laughs> Alright, uh... This is the no, yeah, this is the only thing I got. So let me know if you guys want want me to start a series on The Sims. And then when I get The Sims 4, I'll move on to that. Like, I know I'm going to do a series on The Sims 4. But let me know if you want me to do a series on The Sims 3. Let, like, let me know in the comments below. And then I'll try my best to make it happen. It's probably going to be the same thing as Wizard 101. And this series is going to be really, really long because this game is like impossible. And it's like, this game is like impossible to beat within a matter of a year. <laughs> I've been playing this game for years and years and years. I say years and years and years, but it really hasn't been that long. Probably like two years. I, I barely play it. Like, if I see a commercial on TV, sometimes I'll be like, eh. But if I see a really good commercial for it on TV, I'll start playing. That's how I started this series. And I just passed no one. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. By the handwriting of Cyclops wrote this, they never dot their eyes. <laughs> it's addressed to M, whoever that is. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire, Bats! The Cyclops have kidnapped the students. Oh, good thing you found this. We must act immediately. Oh, now you feel differently about me. I hope they're not going to blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. They are. Because you suck. <laughs> I know. I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while I was... On second thought... I think you should go tell him. <laughs> I'll stay here and keep an eye on those Cyclops. Oh, so we can get in trouble for something you did. And them, those students got themselves kidnapped while you're just standing there looking proud. Mm -hmm. Sure. I have no choice to do this. All right, what does Diego want? Come to me. I'm just outside the dual arena on Unicorn Way. How about no? You're gonna, you guys are gonna make me do it. Since we have 40 minutes, I guess we'll do it in this episode, maybe. If you guys want me to put some furniture in my dorm room, then I will. I mean, I have to to make it look pretty. <laughs> do I have any friends on? Cole, whatever his name was.
So of how the students got themselves kidnapped while I stood here and looked proud. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Drake sneers at the ransom note. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> yeah. Take this message to Victor Darkwood, the rogue shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. Time is of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. Alright. Time is of the essence here. This is the first time I've ever seen him actually care about something. And probably the only time I'll ever see him care about something. It's just like, those are my students! Just like you are. You are my student. If you were to get lost, I would throw a party, but still, you are my student. <laughs> I don't know why they give us beds if we can't really go to sleep. In our dorm room, they give us beds. I have no idea why they give to them. Because we can't go to sleep. It's not like the Sims where we can where we have to um cater to our every need. Oh, shopping district. This is a shopping district. I have to go in here. <laughs> I fail. Alright, I think I should get some better lighting in here. Hold on. I don't think natural lighting is helping helping us out right now. Something to put the music, I guess. Okay, we go from terrible lighting to Awesome lighting, I think. It's kind of dim on the computer, so I have no idea. I think that's better. Right. Let's keep going. Ah, a message from Professor Drake. Yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. Professor Drake's laundry, freshly cleaned and pressed. And don't let it drag on the pavement now. Really? Drake? <sighs> Seriously? You are cheap. I guess he doesn't really care about the students. What are you doing? See, this is what I'm talking about. I have a bed. I think I have another bed here. Uh, I'll check later. Uh, um, I have a bed and I can't even sleep in it. Look, it's like a waste of furniture. And I have a desk. A desk. And a bank. A bank is for when, you know, you run out of room in your backpack. But, you know. I have a bank. I have a desk. And I have, um, what's it called? <laughs> Why is he in his laundry? There are innocent students in danger. That certainly took you long enough. Hey! Professor oh, Drake shakes his head at you. You're still worried about those missing students? Yes, well, this is definitely a problem. Duh! <laughs> Take this message to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. He does not even care about those missing students. He cares about his laundry. Okay, this is lagging, and I do not like it. This game is so laggy. King Isle... Fix it. Seriously though, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm the computer, you know, I'm watching you. Are you watching people play the Sims? No. I would I'm be. You. I would be. <laughs> Ah, young wizard, it's good to see you. You have a note for me. Let's see it. 
The headmaster reads Professor Drake's note. I will not expel you from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, regardless of what Professor Drake thinks of you. Seriously? You are not responsible for the problems on Cyclops Lane. General Achilles and his men promised to drive out the trolls. Now Achilles has gone back on his word. Professor Drake wanted me expelled. Seriously? Alright. I want to change my school to ice. Ugh. Want to change my school to ice. There it goes. But we still have ten minutes, so. Let's keep going. Oh, dang it. I missed the space bar. <laughs> I fear there is something more sinister behind Achilles' change of heart. His M is to blame. We will need to know more. This M. Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Stormgate and help him straighten this out. Well, you're of no use here either, because he did not tell me what to do except to go back to Nolan Stormgate. And... I brewed up this potion especially for Bartleby, the tree in the center of Ravenwood. He hasn't been feeling well lately. He has trouble remembering things since his eye was stolen. How do you steal an eye? The headmaster gives you a bottle with a bubbling blue elixir inside. Take the potion over to Bartleby and see what happens. Take note of anything he says. He says, go away. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Nolan. Actually, Julie, what do you want to do? Bartleby or Nolan? Which one do you, did you already do? Um, or none of them. In your personal. Um, I can't remember that, that, that far back. <laughs> I've actually already done both of them. <laughs> I've, I've actually already done both of them, because they're really far back. So... Bartleby or Nolan. Bartleby or Nolan. See, if this is Twitch, I would have asked everyone what they wanted to do. Bartleby or Nolan. Pretty sure everyone, everyone would have said Bartleby. Since no one wants to deal with Nolan's attitude. Probably. We have eight minutes. I think we can do both. So let's just go to Bartleby first. Yes, I know. It would have been easier to teleport to my house. But so what? He's right there. <laughs> he has blue eyes. Why does he have blue eyes? Must hold on to the first world until... Oh, it's so hard for me to remember things. My mind is not as clear as it once was. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, right, because you're a tree. You pour the headmaster's potion all around Bartleby's roots. Ah, that's good. <laughs> Bartleby looks off into the distance and speaks in deep, hollow tones. Deep, hollow tones. Beware, Master Ambrose. Beware of Malastair. He comes at night to torment me. Find the one who can defeat him. That one is the savior of Wizard City. Everyone is the savior of Wizard City. Everyone who's playing, at least. <laughs> Did we level up? We're at level six. Now we're talking to Nolan Stormgate. I think. We have to talk to Merle Mar Ambrose, but oh, you see, we have three quests. Once we finish this one, this one, and this one, then we'll have nothing to do. So then we have to talk to someone. But more than likely, we'll take care of that before it get. It'll get out of hand soon. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. 
it's really kind of hard um, recording when you have nothing to say. It's just total silence. Yeah. My bro and my brother is just like no one. My, my brother's just like no one wants to hear you talk, so stop talking. And <laughs> my brother is usually the one who makes who gives me the ideas on stuff to talk about. So, because of his sarcastic physique. Dancing around this person and going. <laughs> Make that a viral video, somebody. <laughs> Dancing around this person. Yay! A fire... Fire wizard wants to be our friend. Guess someone found us again. Her name is Angel Dream. She's a level 8 fire wizard. Should we accept? Accept or decline? I thought we said sure. Oh, I heard. <laughs> I barely heard anything. Hey, right. let's go. Yeah! So Angel Dream is our now, is now our friend. Guess someone found us. Lots of people find us. All the time. Not all the time. By the way, I don't really play on this on this um, account when the cameras are off, only because it's the YouTube account. I should have named it YouTube. <laughs> but that was Jared's decision and he decided to pick the most retarded name he could. Hey, where do you go? Yeah, we don't have to look at that ugly face. Actually, seriously, where do you go? It's supposed to be right there. Whoa, what the heck? Ah. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> that thing just popped up out of nowhere. And now I'm scared. Let's kick, take a good look at it. Whoa! Or not. What the? I'm so confused. Someone tell me what just happened. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting Professor Drake to leave everything to us. He must really trust me. He must really hate us. <laughs> Professor Drake is expecting big things. The Cyclops General Achilles wrote the note, so we need to reach his keep. But to do that, we need a gate pass. Maybe, can you steal one from the Warhorns? All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah, that should be easy enough. I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> Can't believe Drake wanted us expelled. We do. Nothing. Drake just hates us. I hate you too. I never did like his attitude. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to feed a war horn and collect war horns pass in Cyclops Lane. And there's one. Come here, war horn. Let's fight. Yeah, everyone knows I would lose a fight. <laughs> My arms are flimsy and noodle-like. <laughs> everyone knows I would lose a fight. Plus, I'm the one who wants world peace. <laughs> Alright, looking at the time, we have to finish this fight and then end it here. So, let's finish this fight, and then me and Jeweler are just going to talk. Because <laughs> I don't feel like texting. Alright, let's kill this thing. Looks really awkward. <laughs> 
do whatever you want in um Photoshop, kids. Why did I just click that? <laughs> You cannot do anything to me. Anything. It's funny because they don't really attack your living puppets. Dang it. Alright, this is gonna be like the rune skull. So, yeah. I'm really bad at ending videos. <laughs> so, that was a good episode. We got a new friend named Angel Dream. And she's a level 8 fire wizard. Or witch. We got in some fights. Yeah, I've gotten some fights. We talked to Nolan Stormgate, got Professor Drake's laundry, <laughs> poured, go. poured potions on Bartleby. Oh, she had to go. So, Julie had to go. She's gone. She says bye. For I'm saying bye for her. Um, alright. So... I'm just gonna cover this so it covers the movie titles. Um... So, we got a new friend, got Drake's laundry, and got a scrapbook for an old lady. <laughs> so, um, I really have nothing else to say, so comment, subscribe, like, don't dislike. <laughs> Tell me whether or not I should change the color of this. Pretty sure I'm just going to change it because I'm getting tired of this color. Um... Tell me whether or not you want to keep the face cam. The face cam. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it somewhere over here. I'm not sure. I can't I can't see it on the screen right now. So I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it somewhere over here. So yeah, um Julie says bye and I say bye. Jared says bye. We all say bye. <laughs> Just, um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, gamer.